Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you step by step how we created our next stage to our frog enclosure. So what I've actually got here is a few stuff that the girls collected from their nature walk and that's what I'm going to use to create our next stage so our stage for our frogs and tadpoles with four legs is going to go in this area because the tadpoles with four legs and um, what they like to do is they like to crawl out of the water in and out of the water so we're also going to have to create an artificial pool in here and I'm going to see how I'm going to do this because on one mind, I'm thinking to do like that much. Ugh. I need more hands. Oh, I need a good phone stand. So I've got this light, but it just, it doesn't do the trick. It really don't. So I'm thinking to do like maybe a pond, like that much on this side. So pond there, and then the rest of over here, like a little slanted hill. And then I'm thinking as well to create an artificial pond. This is obviously not going to be big enough, but if I can find a small enough container, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Woo! this A fever me is not going to go well. A fever got me sneezing up the whole place. I'm wondering if it would be big enough. I'm not sure. What I'm thinking is to bury it down like that. No, I definitely think realistically we can get a bigger container so i'm gonna go ahead and have a look around the house and see if i can find a bigger container because i think it'll work better if we actually create a pond so i found a couple of um containers so this one is the one we started off with so that's a no-no i'll just keep that for making their food now these two this one is perfect in depth but this one is perfect in width, like this small, like literally it would fit so perfect if it wasn't so deep. Now look how much space that takes up. I can't imagine how much space this, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. That is taking up the whole tank, but I am probably going to have to end up using that one. Which is really annoying because I would have rather to use this one. Or do I use this one? Oh, confused.com. But the problem is if I use this one, I've got to somehow be able to fill up all of that. That is a lot. And I don't have that much stuff, I don't believe. But that just gives us more space. I'm going to try and use that one. If anything, we can change it as we go along. So I'm going to pop the phone back in the stand and see what we can do. I tried to collect this with some, so I had some little bugs underneath. But they're no longer there. Yeah, that would be better at a stage. So I would say collect your stuff closer to the time where you see your... um. Frogs start emerging, so when your toads have got like two legs, I would say go out and get your stuff then. But I know it's probably a lot easier to collect stuff as you go on like little walks with the kids. So we've got some moss here. And then got bacon. And then we've just got loads and loads of rocks. So container did come in handy. Just gonna get all of these rocks out. They really done a good job collecting all these stuff. Don't know, is the camera in the right place? Okay, let's try to bring this back up a little bit. Okay. Uh, much better. For now, that is much, much better. So, yeah. So, I'm just trying to take out all these rocks out of here. Oh, a little cute little chunk of wood what i'm really trying to get down to is the dirt and i'm hoping there's some insects i'm hoping they've crawled underneath here and gone into the dirt i don't see no signs of them be really good because later on the frogs can eat them Yes, 
yes we've got a little bug crawl in there I don't know if you guys can see that can you guys see that no I'd have to take it off the stand and put it back on the stand but yeah there's a little center centipede crawling there I need another container Ugh, I'm gonna have to use this one for now just to get the dirt out so I just got a storage warning so I went ahead and offload what's up <laughs> if you know you know if you're in homeschool groups boy you just know that what's up be killing I really can't even manage to put my hand in there that like, I'm just so scared I'm gonna get insect on my hand like I'm not the one to be doing this experiment things we do for our children we'll be having our own fears putting those aside to give them what they need <laughs> oh my gosh if I get an insect on my hand I am going to scream so now I'm gonna try to get this video done real quick because this iPhone storage be on my case and so I'm gonna have to put the stones around them because and at the bottom you don't want it too deep don't want it too deep at all that is the reason why I was liking this one could have really used it come to think of it I'm wondering which container do I really use because I don't want it too too deep I don't want it too deep at all. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and pop this over there, but what I'm gonna have to do is to shorten it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this a bit shorter, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Don't know why. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have tore my moss into small pieces. Really check for insects because you really want to get the bit with insects in there. It's gonna act as a food source later on. I'll turn this this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't worry about them laying down. I'm gonna create a nice little effect. I'm turn this one this way. And just try push it right up against the wall and then I'm going to use this bigger piece to put over here in the corner yeah and then I'm going to put some rocks at the bottom of the pan the pond what you want to do is create kind of a stepping stone for the frog to get in and out so I'm going to have to go ahead and find some bigger rocks I think the girls do have some, yeah. I think we might have put them into the fish tank, I know. Okay, let's try work with this. I think I might need my two hands for this. As you can see, this is just not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the container yeah, it's at too this deep. point. It's too deep. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna put this other container in. It is far too deep. I went ahead and put the other container in there because that container was just far too deep and all the videos I've seen I've been seeing warnings about the frog drowning so yeah that actually looks really really nice I'm gonna go ahead and finish decorating that and then I'll take a picture because we are low on storage <laughs> some bugs crawling in there which you want to encourage this so um, when we picked this up, we really picked up one with a lot of bugs that was underneath there. Let me zoom out, sorry. Yeah, and I've gone ahead and I've broken a piece of that stick to put that in there. The other one I think I might put in the butterfly um, enclosure. Yeah, I've created like a little slope for them to crawl out of the um, pond. I'm going to go ahead and put some stone in there as well. Just creating a stepping stone for them to get in and out. Yeah, and that's it, guys. It's that simple. Okay, so that's it, and I've poured in some water. I do encourage that you guys do this with the kids. I'm obviously not doing it with the kids because I'm just barely trying to get this video in. 
and I'm doing this early in the morning. We are now at five, coming up to 5.30 in the morning. So please, if you can, do it with the kids. If you can't, then just like me. Of course, understandable, they're gonna enjoy it anyway. And that um, moss on the bark, I have managed to put that in at the side. And I think that looks really, really good. I'm trying to give you guys an all angle view. That looks really, really cool. And I'm gonna leave those rocks for the kids to put in. Yeah, I should really just leave. I'm gonna take out back some other stuff so that they really feel included. Get them to put even this stick. I'm gonna put it back in that place, but I'll get them to do it. I'm just gonna leave the stuff on the table and get them to be involved when they get up. Because they're not gonna be happy with me at all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys some great ideas. Please do like and subscribe and share our video. Thank you. Bye.